My name is Philip Leonard. I'm a back-end engineer and tech lead at Pitnik. Pitnik is uh, the fastest growing supermarket in Europe, online supermarket in Europe, I should say. And uh, I lead the team that's responsible for order forecasting and inventory management. One of the selling points of Pitnik is that we uh, try and minimize waste as much as possible. In order to do that, we don't order a huge bulk of stock before we know what the customers want to order. Uh, so that means that we need to predict what customers are going to order uh, before they actually place the order themselves. And that's a great challenge because the last thing you want to do is you want to disappoint a customer because we've run out of stock of some item that they wanted to buy. That's something that can be solved through uh, more intelligent and more advanced uh, algorithmic forecasting processes to observe the customer's previous buying behavior and correlating it and, uh, and then predicting what they're going to buy in the future. Also correlating it with other interesting inputs such as weather patterns, such as holidays. All of these types of uh, data sources, they all matter and they all impact what a forecast for a certain article is going to look like. We're using New Relic 1's new programmability interface and this allows you to use JavaScript and React uh, JS in order to create custom applications that use uh, NRL queries uh, and they transform them into custom dashboards that you can create using any JavaScript component that you could want. And New Relic has helped us monitor all the way from a small company that's fulfilling maybe a thousand orders in the Netherlands every week, up until now to hundreds of thousands of orders every week. For that entire uh, lifespan, we've used New Relic as well to help us scale. The primary advantage for us for using New Relic 1 is that we can actually uh, consolidate all of these data sources into a single uh, overview. And that means that when it comes to solving or analyzing problems, that actually you only need to consult one single place. Our tech team is around 60 people. And of those, there's around 30 backend developers that use uh, News New Relic on a daily basis in order to monitor their applications. When it comes to creating dashboards, rather than a, just a pure user interface drag and drop solution, which can seem limiting, I think, to a lot of programmers, it allows you to really uh, dive very deep into creating extremely custom uh, and tailored dashboards so that you know a software engineer can really just have this entire huge playground to play around with to create dashboards that are interesting to them um, but also to identify key business requirements that require dashboards of a certain type a certain custom type for example plotting uh, metrics on a map uh, and it allows you really to dive straight in there and to start to start creating really interesting and insightful dashboards new relic has scaled linearly just uh, just with our own growth uh, so that means that we um, you know, we can trust that New Relic will scale with us for the next tenfold increase as well. Um, so it's that reliability of infrastructure um, in order to monitor our own applications and our own growth uh, that really encourages us with, uh, with New Relic.